YouTube, what up, what up? Let's pop on it. Bully camp on this side. If you haven't subscribed, become part of the Bully family. Um, like if you like my content. Share if you think what I'm putting out there is uh, knowledgeable for, for anybody out there in the Bully game or anybody who just loves dogs and has pets in general and wants to learn new things. Um... Today we're going to be talking a serious topic, a serious topic, watch to the end. Um, we're going to be talking about a huge issue in, in a lot of different breeds of dogs, but also in the bully community. Like my little boy, right? In the bully community is also a big issue due to the fact that a lot of bully breeders do not tell, um, do not tell people that are buying their dogs, um, certain things that is going on with their animals. Um, so that being said, let's get started on the topic. The puppies are doing great, by the way. Lola's being a great mother, um, keeping them clean. I'm just doing a little help out, just making sure that it's fully clean. But for the most part, she's doing everything. She's a, she's a great mommy. Good girl, Lola. All right. So, what... I would ignore my pink, purple, and blue, but... All right, all right. But I write everything down because I want to be able to give you guys accurate information and... I really want to help. I don't, I don't just want to talk crazy. Like, I want to talk stuff with facts. So, today's um, topic is on soft palate syndrome or disorder. Soft palate disorder. I think that's more the correct term. Um, that being said, a lot of these dogs have a soft palate disorder. And they're not telling people and they're just telling them that... They're, um, that they breathe like that due to their short snout, um, which is true up to an extent. They do breathe like that because of the, um, the length of the snout, but everything has to do with moderation, right? They can't snort that hard while they're awake or sleeping, and you think that it's because of the snout or whatever. So, but it's not only the bullies. This is the reason why I'm making this video. So let me tell you, let me give you a lineup of what dogs do this, okay? So the English Bulldog suffers of this. Um, the French Bulldog suffers of this. The Boxer as well. The Boston Terrier. Um, the Pekingese. The Chinese Pug. So if you're noticing, a tendency in these dogs is that they have a short snout. So, yes, the short snout and the, and the smash face has something to do with it. The lapso apso, the shih tzu, the bull mastiffs also, you understand? Um, <clears throat> what is it? It's in an long, it's in an long um, tissue on the upper part of the mouth, the, the beginning of the throat. So, what that does is it flaps into their airway, into their canal, and it prevents air from getting into their system. Reason why they're so easy to... <laughs> reason, reason being why they're so um, easy to um, catch a heat stroke. Because the way dogs cool off, if you're a dog person or not, you know that it's through their mouth. All right, so they're not getting enough air. Pablo, get out. If they don't get enough air... In their body, they're gonna they're gonna overheat. Okay, give me one second, guys. Let me lay her down. Show them. So um, she's doing wonderful with the puppies. She's cleaning them, taking care of them. She's doing really good. Lay down, mama. No, no, lay down. Good girl. I'm not hurting her, guys. I'm just fixing her, helping her out. She's not being hurt. Please don't call animal control on me. <clears throat> All 
right. So that's her doing her thing. She's doing a great job. I look like shit. I haven't slept more than like an hour and a half at a time. So I'm done. So let me show you a picture real quick. I'm about to post it up right about now. So um, this is what it looks like when, um, when what I'm talking about the access skin into their, their tissue, the access tissue into their airway. Um, there's ways at the time that it's happening for you to help them out. But it's just so frustrating. Um, you could put your hands in their mouth, push up on the on the, on the tissue. They're gonna bite you because you're putting their hand deep into their mouth. So it's a whole issue. Um, that being said, you could also grab like a bottle of water and like push like all the water into their mouth, and that is gonna push the palate back up. And then they're gonna choke a little, throw up, but it's gonna move it out of the way and then they're gonna get air into their system. I'm not a vet, all right? This is out of experience that I'm saying these things. Um, how do you know if your dog has this and it's not just that he has, um, um, let's suppose a smashed muzzle and all this other stuff? Um, the noisy breathing, especially when inhaling, like that, like when you hear that, that's, that's that skin that's flapping into in their mouth. And I mean, um, gagging in some dogs, um, when swallowing, they'll gag, like anything that goes into their mouth becomes an issue for them. Um, so, sorry guys, when you're feeding your puppies, always gotta pay attention. That milk is not coming out of their nose because you don't want them to inhale milk and for it to go into their lungs. So also um, their level of oxygen depletes a lot because it's blocking it. So when they have like one of these episodes that you think it's a heat stroke, their lips, um, their gums and their, and, their, and their tongue turn purple or bluish and it's still a lack of oxygen. Um, all of this is from the in um from the soft palate disorder, okay? And it it's easy to overheat. And that is the biggest issue with these dogs. And they tell you that they overheat because of the short snout and this and that, which is up to a certain extent. It's true. But if your dog runs from here to to there and then he's done or she's done, that's a sign that something is 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 intervening with their, their oxygen intake there's really no short-term fix other than not taking your dog out not letting him see new people when they get excited that their throat swells up and everything it's just it's an unhappy dog and that's the reason why i'm making this video because it is wrong for breeders to be breeding these dogs if you're trying to get it out of your camp i understand i applaud you if your male has it your female don't have it there's a certain percent of chance that your dog will not have it. You understand? But because dogs do take 65% of their mother. The old dogs are 65% of the female. They could still get it, but you're cleaning your camp out. Now, if the female has it and the male has it, all those puppies are coming out with an in-long um, soft palate. And you're going to sell this dog to maybe, let's suppose, a breeder that's starting. And now he got to spend $2,500, $3,000 up to $4,000 that he wasn't counting on or she wasn't counting on, on spending. The same thing could happen to a person that buys a dog for a pet. A lot of people like these bullies as pets. They don't need to be running them around. They don't need to be crazy um, on top of these dogs or crazy exercise. So they're great home pets. You understand? So now you have a person that on top of the vet visits, the vaccinations, and all the um, food, now you just add another $3,000 that they probably don't have because they're not getting it from the dog. They're not breeding these dogs. So that being said, you have a long-term fix. What's your long-term fix? Is surgery. The only thing you can do is surgery. Look how cute they look, by the way. They look awesome. Look how cute they look. <laughs> so um, surgery, they will 
cut the excess skin and then sew it up so it won't um, intervene with the air canal. I'll put up a video right about it. So that's your video right there, right? So um, this is, all right, note to everybody, about 99% of the dogs that have this in long um, soft palate disorder usually has what's called a, and sorry if I don't say it right, a, steno, a stenotic nariz, which is where their nostrils are really closed and their nostrils are actually little. So it's about like 85 to 90, 98% of dogs that have the in long soft palate disorder also have the, the nariz issues. So now we're getting into cost, right? So I'm running this down little by little. This is extremely informable for you guys. If you guys have any people that have the dogs that I mentioned at the beginning, refer them to this video because it will help. A lot of dogs die and people don't know why. And they just be like, oh, my dog had a heat stroke. And it's like, no, your dog had a disorder that your um, breeder did not tell you about and you couldn't help him out. There is insurances that you could acquire to, um, to possibly help you out. The problem with these insurances is that once you get them, you need to have like six months with no incidents mm -hmm. and then the dog needs to be healthy and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So just look into it if your dog does have this mm -hmm. issue. So the vet cost, mm -hmm. let's suppose for the, for the small, um, for the soft palate reduction, it's anywhere um, from $500 to $2,000, depending on where you live. I'm in New York. Everything is expensive over here in New York. So... Depending on where you live, it could be anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Um, for the Nariz um, surgery, that if you're going to do the soft palate, just do it all together. Get it out of the way, and you're going to see it instantly help your dog. You're going to see it right away. So the Nariz, it could go anywhere from $200 to $1,200, um, $1, depending on where you live. Okay? Everything changes. Vets, if I would have known how much vets cost and how much vets make, I would have been a vet. Like I've always, I've been saying this for a while. Like I would have been a vet because it's crazy. It's crazy. Out here in New York, I've had them want to charge me eight thousand dollars for a C section. Where I could get a C section in some places out of New York for seven hundred dollars, six hundred dollars with the same exact good quality or even better. Um surgery time is only sixty minutes for each. So you could say like two hours for the Nariz and um and the soft palate. Recovery time is easy. It's only like two weeks um, with activity restrictions. So not letting them run around crazy, not letting them play around too much. Look at these guys. They fell asleep already. Hold it right there. Um, they fell asleep already. Isn't that funny? They eat and they knock out. <clears throat> I let them spend a lot of time with their mother because, you know, like, I want, her to, I want her to give them that love, that love that they need and all of that. They only don't need um, food. They also need love, these dogs. So... Full recovery takes anywhere from six to eight weeks. Um, and let me put a picture up real quick. Boom, right there. So what you're going to be feeding your dog as he or she is recovering is soft food during this time. It will help decrease like throat pain or any inflammation. Um after the full recovery, then you start giving them their, their kibbles and stuff, but you don't want nothing dragging on their upper palate like that. Um, let me see. You don't have like real side effects. Like side effects might be at the beginning when when you get them the surgery and they're recovering. Like you might have a mild cough or um, I mean, and that's just uh, due to the, to the irritation from the surgery because they won't... They, it's just going to be from the irritation of their mouth and the difference. They're going to have to get used to, to not having that thing in their way. Because the longer you wait, the older the dog gets, it's like it's like if you pull on your skin after a while, it starts in, it starts hanging. So it's a soft tissue. So from them breathing and, and breathing in really hard, they're, they're going to make that tissue longer and longer. So it's just going to get harder and harder. Um... And let me give you a quick video on a dog that had it and then it got and then they they did the surgery on. Like you're going to see the before and after right about now. Ah. 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 Ah.
So that's crazy, right? Like you can hear it. I mean, he still snorts short snout, but it's not crazy. The whole house ain't shivering. Like they try to trick you and tell you that the whole house is supposed to tremble because he has a short snout. Um, that's not the case. And I hope this video could help you out. Dogs are going to be in the market in a few weeks. I don't know which ones I'm going to sell. I don't know when I'm going to start taking deposits. I want to let them get bigger. Um, they're really healthy. They're really big. They already got some muscle to them. They got really short limbs, so they're not going to be really tall um, at all. They'll definitely be under 10 inches. Uh, what else? I mean, thank you for the support. Thank you for being on my channel. If you can, please uh, subscribe. If you haven't, like, share. Tell people about this, man. We need to spread this word. These uh, bully people, um, including myself, but excluding myself to a certain extent, all right? Because I'm not going to sell you a dream, all right? Um, people just want your money, and they just want to, like, get rid of you. You understand what I'm saying? I want to do this for the long run. I want to be able to, to sell dogs for, like, my whole life, if I could. And, and maybe my kids are going to like that, and maybe they'll do it, like, you know? But I'm not going to just take four or five thousand dollars and then give you a headache you understand and then you gotta invest another four or five and then you got a ten thousand dollar dog that you wasn't expecting to spend all this money on like for what you get me so i'm always gonna say the truth stay tuned to my channel because i'm gonna have a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff that's gonna be putting a lot of different people on blast you don't like me too bad but i'm gonna say the truth all right pop on it bully camp thank you for everything we out